Friends, welcome to Digital India Portal, the YouTube channel. You will get all informations regarding Common Service Centre updates. Fine. We all know that CSC has recently launched DigiPay version 3.0. All are enabled payment system. DigiPay version 3.0 has been successfully launched by CSC e-Governance Service India Limited recently. So now, CSC has added further information about DigiPay version 3.0 is that. It has released the features of version 3.0. DGP version 3.0 features has been released by CSE Government Service India Limited. So before that, all VLAs download DGP version 3.0 from official website dgp.csecloud.in. Here you can download DGP version 3.0. Fine. What are the new features? New features in DGP version 3.0. So the new features are VLE has to use you VLEs use his or her other number. And 12 digit CEC ID to complete the registration process in DigiPay. So after registration, VLE must use his or her CEC ID and biometric authentication to log in into DigiPay account. So new future, uh, you are hereafter VLEs can recharge your digital Seva wallet through DigiPay. The fourth one is so transaction receipts are also being stored after every transaction in your systems automatically so to access the stored transaction receipt if you do any transaction through digipay means the receipt of that transaction will be automatically saved in your system so to access the location or to view that automatically stored receipt the transaction receipt means you must go to your local disk c and go to the folder csc e governance service india limited and again Go to DigiPay and uh, print log. In print log folder, you can see all your transaction receipts of your DigiPay transactions. So the another one important one is so VLEs has to keep minimum DigiPay balance of rupees five thousand as a security. So if you are using DigiPay means minimum five thousand rupees as a minimum balance for the purpose of security. So after maintaining rupees five thousand in DigiPay balance. VLE can send the payout request of more than 2,500 rupees. If you maintain rupees 5,000 means you can request payout request of mo request more than 2,500 rupees as a payout. So payout request amount will be transferred in VLE's account, which has been updated in Digital Seva Portal. So all VLEs must need to sign DGP affidavit and indemnity bond on rupees 100 stamp paper and submit it to CSA district managers before 31st September 2018. So from version 3 onwards, if you are using DGP means you must submit, you must sign and submit affidavit stamp, affidavit bond. You must sign in stamp paper that is affidavit bond and the indemnity bond and submit it to the same to the CSA district managers before 31st September 2018. So there, these are the new rules or guidelines introduced by CSE Government Service India Limited in DGP version 3.0. So if you have any queries, kindly post your comments under this video. It will be answered as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Thank you.